everything stopped working. You couldn't turn it off. You couldn't change anything. I probed a little deeper and I found a problem. Like I said, I'm no electronics expert, but when I see something like this, Lydia's making delicious breakfast. Thank you, Lydia. Oh, look what we have over here. We're gonna have some uh, Cinnabons. We're gonna attempt to remove that. I got all the tools I need, I think. I'm doing a high production over here. First step here is remove the soldering right here. As you can see, that's loose and it's not making contact with these, uh, with a circuit. I'm making a, didn't I say I was making a high production? Do you need a light there, Louis? The big giant light is probably better. It's kind of dark. Being an expert on this stuff, first thing you need to do is get, if you don't have a sucker, to remove the the soldering you get a heavy gauge wire like this mix in a little bit of a uh, flux capacitor maybe it's not a flux capacitor but just regular flux and supposedly make sure i don't take out the wrong one you heat that up and then you flux it out and it's supposed to work that's what a guy said uh on a video that i watch i don't have a soccer i'm not an expert i'm just gonna try it. I remember doing some of these this stuff like in the 80s. I did I soldered some circuit boards, but it's been a long time, so I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to try to fix it the best I can. Unbelievable. But the first step has been accomplished. I was able to remove it cleanly. The hard part is going to solder it back in place. But before I go, I do that, I want to wipe that clean. There we go. Uh, how does this go again? Put it back in like so. Turn this around. And now that's what we're going to resolder right there. It's not pretty, but I got it done. Now the uh, proof is in the pudding. I'm gonna see if this, this will work. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna have to remove it and keep on doing it. The problem that I'm having is when they, when they, when they do this stuff, this, these uh, little pieces of uh, metal that stick out, they cut them short. And I don't know if the metal is melting or whatever, but every, I'm, I only have like a little piece of metal, so it's it's not much left, but I'm hoping that this will work. It's time for the, uh, for that proof pudding or whatever. But anyway, I gotta put this the right way. Let me see how this goes. This goes up there like that. This goes like this, so push it. Oh, there we go, I clicked. I gotta maneuver this here. This comes in here. Now we'll push it in. Oh, I know we already have, we already have power. Now can we turn this on and off? Can we turn the mode? Oh, the mode doesn't work. What about the temperature set? Temperature setting doesn't work. Oh, is it on? You have to turn it on, Louis. You might have power, turn it on. The other, does the DC and stuff doesn't show either. It's not changing mode. Uh, and you can't change the temperature, so something is still wrong. It's not quite working. I could blame myself because I'm no expert, but on the last one that I did, uh, the last one is the one that connects, it's the 12 volt on the one on top. That's the last one I did, and it's the last one that did not come through. The soldering did not go from this side to this side, and these were loose. So once I tightened them up, this thing heated immediately tremendously much more than it did before so i think because it wasn't hot enough it wasn't melting it fast enough and the stuff was just running i'm just i'm just i'm assuming i'm just just go with it so 
I'm gonna remove, I'm gonna get, I got my flux capacitor. It's just flux, there's no capacitor. I'm gonna try again. Hold it like this. Hold it down like that. Now I have this thing back on this side. This is not easy. It's just a learning curve. Once you know how to do it, it's easy, but. Learning. You gotta take the bull by the horns and try. Lewis, it's not that I don't believe in you, but. It's that you don't believe in me? Radio Shack near me. <laughs> okay, I need you to hold this. Let's just put some flux in there. I just don't know why it's going to the other side. It's going right to the other side where I don't want it. You think it's the wind? <laughs> wind is blowing in. The wind. It's really windy in here. Okay. Look at my hand. Hold it more over here. In the middle? Yeah. We're not being successful with this soldering thing. I tried again. It still doesn't look like the other ones. I think these were done with a machine. I don't understand because I don't know, but I don't understand why this is flowing to the other side. So right now the important pieces here are not touching each other, except for the mode is touching, maybe not. I'm going to try to put this the way it is to see if it works and if it doesn't work uh, I may need to get another piece like this so I can because this one is wearing out. Can I say something on video? I just looked it up here he said there's two types of flux cores. There's the acid core and the rosin core. The acid core is used for plumbing and the rosin core is used for electronics. What are you using Louis? Well, I'm sure they sell this. We bought this. this in Hobby Lobby. This is probably for plumbing. We didn't I'm, buy this oh, in Hobby Lobby. Oh, we bought Lobby. this in um, Harbor Freight. It's probably for plumbing. This is probably the acid core. Uh, we need the rosin core for electronics. That could be the problem. Good thing I was here. Well, I'm going to try to connect this again. Come on, work this time. Okay. It's on, but can we change? Just means the power is on, but can we turn this on and off? You can't turn it on and off. No. You can't change the mode. You can't do nothing. So the final verdict is in. I was able to successfully not complete this thing. You know, you can't always do every muffin. I'm doing a high production over here. Unbelievable. You can't always succeed in everything you do. Sometimes you fail. As you can see, I failed pretty bad. I had to redo this thing quite a few times. Every time I try to do it, I lost more and more pieces. The things wouldn't stick anymore. Soldering wouldn't stick. This thing is, it's done. I tried. I think I'm able to fix this. Not this one, but, sorry Muffin. But I'll fix it. Just, just, I'll fix it. I'm pretty much done with a camper. Now all I gotta do is put my tools away and, uh, oh, and I gotta do this stool over here slash stepping. Just this cover right here. This is nice and dried. How do you like it? I don't know what it is. That's your door. Oh, is it going up now? Well, not now. Is For... it ever going to get done, Louis? Maybe, maybe never. Thank you, Louis. It looks very nice. You, First, I you gotta... worked very hard on this. People don't know how hard you worked on this particular project. Well. You've been at this for like four days now. While I'm procrastinating to leave Florida and go back back to work, I'm gonna fix the gut over here because it's coming apart. Lost a couple of screws there, a couple of screws over here. Probably from when the guys were working on a roof. Yeah, procrastination.
Well, two things. Thank you again for for the nice gift. Uh, that's the first thing. Second thing is, thank you for the nice gift because this is all I got. I got no more Timmy's. Uh, so I got to drink this slightly inferior coffee, but still very good. Still, it's it's uh, Monarchy Roast, uh, organic. I've used it a few times in the past, intermingling with my Timmy's. But I completely ran out of Timmy's yesterday. And today is like almost the last day here in Florida. Well, over here in with Lydia, uh, so I gotta get back and, and get Timmy's really quick because this, this is not gonna do. I still have to finish a couple things. I gotta finish that. I'm gonna do that next. And then I have to finish, fix the refrigerator. And now I'm gonna go up there on the roof and I gotta fix those those brackets the fellow that installed the solar panel he didn't put a lot of caulking up there coming to an end here back to work soon the way of the wicked is like darkness they do not know over what they stumble proverbs 4 19